people said amen. amen. Young worshipers, do we have anybody today? If not, I'm going to make the young worshipers at heart come join me. Hi, Heidi. Come on up. Anybody else want to join me up at the front here? Yay, Cooper. Thanks for joining us. Well, hello. Hi. So what happened last week? Oh, wonderful. Yeah, come on up. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Thanks for joining us up here. Well, let's, let's take a seat here, get comfy, and let's talk about what happened last week. Do you remember what the, what the theme was for last week? We were cleaning, and I remember, because I remember how um, Freya cleaned the bottom of the altar, and then Pastor Jenna was saying how sweet it was. Freya cleaned a very good altar last week, if you didn't miss it. It's yeah. st still when sparkling, right? Right. That's right. Do you remember what the candle was that we lit last week? How about Cooper? Do you remember? Hope. Hope. That's right. And do you know the candle that we lit this week? Peace. That's right. So our theme for this week is peace. Last week was hope. We did a little bit of cleaning with our feather dusters to prepare to make room in our hearts and our minds for a very special visitor. So this week, I'm curious, you know, talking about peace, and we have our wonderful feathers here, and we're going to do a little bit of an experiment. This is very scientific, so you might want to get, I got my eye protective wear on, so just be, this is very serious. So what happens if I drop this feather? Oh. What, what are we experiencing? Do you hear anything? Did it go, <laughs> took its time, right? It fell very gently. Okay, let's do it again. I'm gonna try really hard with all my CrossFit strength that I have to throw it down as far hard as I can. Do you think I can get it to go any faster? Let's see, here we go again, back up. <laughs> Still same thing, right? Fell gently, it fell peacefully. And it's such a good reminder that no matter how much we force things in our lives, God still wants us to have peace in our hearts and peace in the world. No matter how much anxiety we have, no matter how many worries we have, any fears, no matter how try hard we try to force something down, peace. So now I want you to each take a feather. Ooh, that feather just got sucked up into the vent. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so each of you take a feather. And if you were lucky enough, congregation, to have a feather, here you go, Mom. If you were lucky enough to have a feather join you on your pew, go ahead and take that feather. We had so many angels among us today, so they're just, they keep leaving their feathers everywhere. One of them is molting a lot. So take your feather, hold it in your hand. And just feel how soft and light it is. In fact, I'm going to take a seat because I want to really take this in. So as I hold this feather in my hand, it feels soft, it feels light, right? Now I want you to hold this feather in your hand and I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think of something that maybe is giving you a little extra worry, maybe a fear you have, something that just doesn't make you feel the love of God. In congregation, if you can, and at home, you can easily just put your hands in a cup spot like this and just feel that weightlessness, because that's exactly what these feathers feel like, just weightless and peaceful. Now, whatever that fear is, whatever that anxiety you have, whatever problem it is, I want you just to softly say, peace. Maybe say it a couple times. God, we thank you for reminding us that you always want us to have peace and experience peace both within us and in the world. Thank you for bringing your messengers to spread those words of peace and hope in our hearts. Amen. Before you leave, I just want to point out a couple fun things that are going on in our sanctuary, starting with in the back, there are these cool little angel wings on that table with the candles. Take one of these home and color on it or write on it, write on it messages of hope or peace, whatever works for you. This goes for the congregation too. 
and we're going to use these little guys to decorate our trees in our sanctuary and in our narthex. If you haven't already, get your picture taken in front of the angel wings. Pretty cool. Last thing, these little cards are on the back table too. These are cards of hope and cards of peace, and you're welcome to give these to anybody that you feel like needs a special message right now of peace or hope. And this goes for the congregation too. Here you go, here's another little one. So lots of little things to take home for you. You can even keep it yourself if you feel like you need the word of peace or hope, but spread that hope and peace in the world, all right? Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week.